Are you anxious about the markets because things are going too good and there's political concern? Of course I'm worried and I guess that the big worries relate to the uncertainties on central banks and we have lots of change going on at that front. Uh, the reality is that the earnings numbers are strong but the market's not prepared to pay up, implying that valuation concerns are to the fore. And then thirdly, inevitably, one looks at the credit markets and one begins to see some sag, uh, and that's cause for concern. So for me, there is now a heightened risk of another correction, but not for me yet, the risk of a bear market. OK, what would it take for it to come to a, a correction? Uh, I, I think the sentiment needs to, to go down, so it could be either a macro uh, event or indeed some major micro news about a company being in a less strong position than uh, markets had anticipated. OK, we saw a little bit of fluctuation on the back of uh, the machinations in the White House, people being removed. Do you worry yes, about that? Of course. A, a, a stable political framework is a really important factor in market valuation. And there is always the uncertainty <clears throat> there will be another executive order that raises the, the bar on protectionism as the single biggest risk. Uh, James, I, I look at where we are in the zeitgeist through the week is clearly real worry about substan substantial and sustained GDP. We have four rate increases modeled in, in the United States as a consensus idea. Those two don't dovetail, do they? Well, Tom, you could argue that the very low level of economic growth that the US has experienced on trend, around 2%, should imply that we have uh, nominal bond yields in the 10-year area in the States of uh, 3 or 4 and we're not there yet, and therefore it could be that the Fed tightens, the yield curve steepens a little bit, and uh, we still have a climate of relatively low growth and low inflation. So for me, it's not an issue of whether or not growth remains sluggish, but whether we actually head to recession. Now, of course, recession would be calamitous for equity markets, but definitely priced for continuing growth.